some of that is age related. Um, as I sit here and listen to her describe the evolution, mm-hmm. um, when I was in my twenties, I was closer to where Zoe is talking about. None of these other things really, you know, came into as my you get older, into my you get mind a little bit more. Yeah, but now some some guys remain foolish. Others get to a point where they just accept denial. They really do. Go deeper into that. Story. And what I mean by that is they keep perpetuating that fraud. You know that. I'm the shit and all of that. When in reality, right. they didn't hit that threshold where it ain't really going down like that no more. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and then by the time they get on medication, it's a complete fraud. And so the other other route is if you're fairly healthy and you're in your middle age, you're looking for something different anyway. You know, right. you want to have that experience wherein it's not just that one and done and you go through a physical evolution where mm-hmm. it's all good. Not just the, the finish line, but the whole process is cool. Wow. Listen, we're about to take a quick break. But before we do, we want to play a video that really outlines some of the misnomers and misconceptions about the interaction between male and female. We'll be back at 2.2 more on the Vagina Bar Show. The only thing in our society that bothers me the most is the way that men and women don't get along no more. That's really what's bugging me about it. Men and women just don't get along. Like, I hear women say this all the time. I know a lot of you sisters be like, chivalry is dead. Don't you? Don't y'all feel that way? Like men aren't gentlemen anymore? That's right. Chivalry is dead. And women killed it. There's a fundamental difference in the way we're going to see things. We're not going to see out to eye on this issue. We're just not. Our test in life are different. A woman's test in life is material. A man's test in life is a woman. <laughs> now, by test, I mean that those are the things that we desire. Men have nice cars. Not because they like nice cars, because they know women like nice cars. That's how it goes. Because men are hunters. And the car is the bait. <laughs> and the woman comes and says, ooh, nice Porsche. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> That's how it is. That's true. Come on, man. You go to a woman's house, her house be comfortable as shit. Women love comfortable surroundings, so men get comfortable surroundings. Let me tell you something. If a man could fuck a woman in a cardboard box, he wouldn't buy a house. (laughs) But that's still not where chivalry got killed. Chivalry got killed by the feminist movement on the magazines that got women going crazy because women got too much advice about men from other women. And they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> and it's true. I see this shit in the, ma- in the magazines. I don't read them, but I be seeing the cover. I look at, I be in the grocery store, fellas, you look at one of the magazines, like, what is this? And they say on the cover, a hundred ways to please your man by some lady. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Come on. Ain't no hundred ways. That list is four things long. Just suck his dick, play with his balls, and then fix him a sandwich and don't talk so much. And that's what And then the magazines trick the women. The magazines start picking at your self-esteem. Every page you turn, you start feeling fatter and uglier, and you feel like your clothes aren't good enough. And the magazines, that's what happens. Now look what happens. And then you forget how beautiful you are, and we all suffer. If pussy was a stock, it would be plummeting right now because you flooded the market with it. You're giving it away too easy. I'm just being truthful. I'm just talking. It would plummet. We'd be watching the news today. Pussy plummeted again. <laughs> on the Gold is up 10 points. Maybe comedians 
like Dave Chappelle, Corey Holcomb, Patrice uh, O'Neill. Yeah. Maybe these guys are more like sages and prophets. Maybe in order for you to digest some type of knowledge or insight, it's got to be funny. I would crush people. Or would crush people, right? So the brother said something that was very profound. He said a lot of profound things. And I think... I think the tradition of how women are supposed to be puts a price on their pussy, on their service to men. The tradition. The tradition says if he can take care of you, this is how you take care of him. 323-965-1600. Now, in the woman taking care of him... How many women do you know have adopted the positionality of taking care of the family, of him, of his needs, of their needs to the point where they wake up one day and they find that they're empty because they haven't been serviced in the way that they've serviced others? 323-965-1600. Yeah, speak to that, Veronica. Yeah. Um, it's come up before this whole, you know, Madonna versus whore, wifey versus ratchet conversation. Here's the real deal. See, we've been trained that one or the other is better. And that's a way of creating guilt and shame that's been institutionalized, like what Dave Chappelle just said, in terms of the magazines, the church. It's been this, this schism, right, about Madonna, whore, ratchet versus wifey. But here's the truth of how a real, a whole woman works. Hmm. If, the, if the part of her that is sexual and alive, I'm not going to call it ratchet, but the part of her that is actually realized sexually, if she's getting full, filled up and met, and she, then she becomes an overflow. In other words, she can give out of her fullness. Mm-hmm. And then, she, and see, what happens is that wifey gets so uh, drained because there's this perspective of her that she's not sexual. Mm-hmm. So she's not really getting filled up with the life force and the energy that she needs. So she becomes very depleted. And so she can't really give because she's an empty vessel. But if, she, if, if, if a woman was whole and she could embrace both sides of herself, she would be fully realized and fully met. In other words, she'd be giving from her overflow. She'd be mm. giving from her sexual vibrance. But because we've had them split uh, in our consciousness by these institutions, there's no, we, we, we get confused like there's one or the other. Women are both. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead, Brandy. Go ahead, Brandy. I, I, just, I want to thank you, Veronica, for oh, really? saying that. No, this, At first you was hating. No, I'm going. never hating. I'm never <laughs> hating. I'm, I'm only speaking my truth. Now, but I want to thank Veronica for saying that because I think that's one of the biggest issues that we have with men today. And this goes mm-hmm. back to the question that mm-hmm. you asked earlier. It, are, are we, you know, lying by pretending to be this way the with lady. one guy? Right. Uh, you know, in order to to keep him as a man, but it's like we—it's almost like we have to because men. But will... at first you said you wasn't lying. Now you're saying you had to. I, now what? Now what no, the fuck is going listen, on? Listen, slow down. This though. is a Travis slow Sham down. mockery. I, I'm, Go ahead. Slow down now. I'm, I have mine's gonna be on your ass again. Um, <laughs> what? I have an aunt that told me that you were getting better. Okay, tell your aunt nice I love it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> right. so, no, so it. That you do, I think, women when women want to be with somebody that they see themselves spending time with, having a future with, building a life with, having children, marrying, they may oftentimes pull back on their sexuality or pull mm. back on that part of themselves because they don't want to be perceived by that man. Which is in fact lying. But that is the that is the thing. But men have been saying for years that you want us to lie to you. No, be, no, no, it, no, you do want men, us to lie. Not men. Society. Not okay. Men. You do want Get her, us, Bobby. You do want us to lie to you because <laughs> men will go out and call women all outside of their name and talk, talk all kinds of junk about them, and then they they will wife up the good girl, but then they'll go out and have fun that's with a, a woman man. who's sexually free. I mean, societally, in large, that's kind that's of the way male. it's been operating. That's a difference. When, like Veronica said, there's two sides. Like, I, I mean, no, there's friend, two different. Look, uh, we need to be able to be both. Sophisticated uh, a lady in the streets and a freak Sophist- in the sheets is a term okay, so, for a reason. So let's do this. Look, me and my friends have a, a term, sophisticated ratchet. 
Like, we call ours Clatchet. See? <laughs> Classy and Ratchet. Hello, I got them both. Wow. Look at it. Okay. Like, yeah. And wow. proud of it. Wow. I'm sorry. Like, this fucking wow. ship no, is safe. It, 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 it goes back to what you were saying, Veronica, because I, I think that it's very important that, that we realize oh, that women God. need to be able to be caregiver, the nurturer, the teacher, you know, the the mother, the, the wife. But at the same time, I don't want to give up my sexuality, my enjoyment, my connection, which I think is a very important part of my Myself, I will say that about sex, and I flat Filibuster. out refuse. I flat out refuse <laughs> to to let that go in a relationship. And I, I I think that men need to realize that they don't they can't put say those type of restrictions. Wrap it up. You know what? So <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm gonna just I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go <laughs> ahead and go. I'm just yeah, so how about that? <laughs> no, don't leave. Okay, hey, come on, All now. Right. Damn. Uh, anyway, so yes. Uh, just for pull some housekeeping. My ratchet. Clatch it. The difference between a man and a male <laughs> for for this discussion for me, mm-hmm. a man, a male is who she's talking about. You know, he he wants to just get it, and he don't want no whole lot of complexities, and he'll settle for a lie. He don't even care if you're lying, telling the truth. Right. But a man looks at it totally different mm-hmm. because he gonna ask for what he want. I don't want no woman repressing herself because she thinks. I don't want her to be who she is because that's what I'm really looking for is that person Mm -hmm. because there's no limit in that. Right. That's my expectation. Whatever you holding out on, what for? Right. What are we waiting on? Right. You know, it's interesting about what you guys are all saying. And and to go back to the point that Veronica made as well, I'm I'm big on words, right? If you look up the word uh, queen, and I don't mean the definition, you know, most niggas, can't read a seventh grade newspaper, let alone, you know, a dictionary. And then they don't know the difference between, you know, definitions of a word and then the word's origin, you know, the difference between connotation and denotation. The denotation is originally what a word meant. And the connotation is what this particular society defines the word to mean. So dope, it means the music is good. But, you know, it has another meaning as well, connotation. It's is different than Trust. the denotation. So if you look up the word queen from its etymological root, you know what that shit means? No. Whore. Hmm. So there is some validity in what you're saying. But my question is, as long as women are hiding and playing the lady role... When you're really a whore. No, no, you, you know, Zoe. And I'm right. saying, you're doing exactly I'm not saying what you're negatively. Excluding. Let me finish. Right. Let me, let me finish. Okay. I'm not saying negatively. Because I believe that women repress themselves in order to be accepted by a lesser type of man, which is Bobby's point. Mm-hmm. A real man wants that good yoni you got, <laughs> and he wants you to throw it on him with veracity. Don't surprise me <laughs> don't, with it. <laughs> don't, yeah, you see don't what I'm saying? Don't come across it. like Minnie Mouse and then get in the house and be on some porn shit, because then I'm going to be like, the fuck? <laughs> He, he, he got to go. will be like, no, no I've never thing. done that before. No. I, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't possibly do that. And then y- your asshole is a tunnel. <laughs> like, what the? What? What it happened? I'm just oh, saying, Lord. be real. Oh, is it possible God. for women to be in a space of authenticity and realism today, especially with all the advancements that you guys are enjoying? Absolutely. Well, then do it. No. You can't even talk about an orgasm on the t- on a radio show. I just talk to you about my <laughs> orgasms and when I had them. Unless you're giving them to me, you don't need to know about them. Ah, oh. even. Wow. Okay, I should make an is. appointment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Brandy, let me, pencil me. Let in. me pull out the um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Wow, that's good stuff. Yeah. Well, so listen, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take another break. We have some more wisdom from the sages. Check this video out. We'll be back at two point two. Love Ooh. it. <laughs> 